All right, ladies and gentlemen, next on the chopping box is Chips Rips Sports Cards. So this video just came out from Timmy P saying, Chips Rips isn't your friend, just another dirty repack scam. And so he made this video about this card. It's an Aaron Rodgers gold to 10 downtown that recently came out of one of my repacks. There is a slight issue with the corner here that the naked eye actually can't even see. And this guy was saying I was hiding the fact that there was an issue here, which I 100% was not. I paid $1,626 for this card. It came out of a product that had a $1,000 floor. The card with the issue disclosed closed in the listing, meaning it passed eBay authentication because this very small corner issue was disclosed is worth $1,626. So there was nothing misleading going on here whatsoever. This card in perfect condition sells for anywhere between $2,400 to $3,000, okay? This card is a $1,626 card. I cannot be clear enough about that. Now, as is customary for me in situations like this, let's say my customer, who by the way is not Timmy P., I would implore you to try to find a customer of, my, customer of mine that had an issue of like this that was not happy on how it got uh, resolved. So if my customer comes back to me and say, hey, you know what? I really don't want this card. There is an, an issue with the corner. Um, I say, you know what? No problem whatsoever. Let me pay you 100% of full comps for the card, okay? And like I said, the floor was 1000 bucks. He got a $1,600 card out of it. I'm not seeing what the issue is here whatsoever. Also, an underrated fact about all of this, again, this is a very minor corner issue. This card most likely, if I had a guess in my grading expertise, will get a PSA 8 with a chance at getting a PSA 9. I think anything other than that is a long shot. So all of this commotion is over a card that's probably gonna grade a PSA 8 or a PSA 9. So I don't know um, what this guy's issue is with me or whatever. But since this was so absurd, um, I had to call this guy out. Um, and that's my customary, uh, response to dealing with situations like this. If a customer ever has an issue with anything, I always go above and beyond to make it right. Dobby.